Welcome to our daily rosary meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we promise to pray for. Today we meditate on the temptations of Jesus in the desert. Now, Jesus is a divine person. He is incapable of sin because he's God. Why then would Jesus go through the motions of being tempted to sin when sin was precisely what he was incapable of? First of all, so that he could sympathize with us in our temptations. Hebrews chapter 14 says that Christ, our high priest, can sympathize with our infirmities since he was tempted like we are, but without sin. In other words, it wasn't just a charade. Jesus is fully God, but he's also fully human. He could be tempted. He did feel the attraction of the goods which Satan presented to him. He felt that internal tug of war between the lesser but so desirable good and the greater good God wants for us. So he knows, by his own experience, how powerful temptation can be. But secondly, so that he could show us how to overcome temptation. What practices, what preparation, what strategies can make us ready to choose rightly even when evil presents itself as a live option? Jesus is our example in all things. And here we need to look carefully at the weapons he brought to his battle with Satan. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art Art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Scripture and tradition have identified three sources of temptation, the world, the flesh, and the devil. And we see these three sources in the temptation of Christ. The flesh refers to the temptations that come from within ourselves our natural desires for food, for drink, for love and comfort. And all of these quickly become disordered. By our five senses, 
especially sight and taste and touch, which take over for so many of us. And Satan tempts Christ to put his physical pleasure first. He tells him to turn stones into bread, to use his miraculous power for his own bodily satisfaction. The world refers to the temptations that come to us from other people, from peer pressure or social expectations or cultural norms. So many of our disordered desires are taught to us by others, and so many of our sins are born of trying to compare ourselves to others or out of a concern for what other people think. And Satan approaches through this avenue too. He takes Jesus to the highest point in the most crowded part of Israel, to the parapet of the temple and says, throw yourself down. And then at the last second, let God save you. Sure, it's kind of a pointless miracle, but it'll sure impress people. And we all want to impress people. So try it. And the devil, of course, is at the root of all of our temptations. He's the first tempter the one we obey every time we choose some worldly thing over God. And in the last temptation, Satan takes off the mask and says, I'll give you anything on earth. I'll give you everything on earth. Just forsake God and let me be your master. But Christ wins every time. What strategy does Jesus use that we should learn from and use ourselves in our battle against temptation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. We fall from temptation into sin because our misplaced desires and feelings overpower our intellect and will. I know I shouldn't watch this or eat that, but I really want to. I can't help myself. We fail to say no to these temptations because we don't have the strength. We are weak. So we need to do some exercise. We need to exercise our intellect and will to say no to our misplaced, our disordered desires. And the best way to do that is by fasting. Christ prepares us 
for the struggle with temptation by fasting himself, by denying his body what it wanted. So what kind of training are you going to give your five senses as part of the Christian life? In what way are you going to deny your disordered desires, especially for sight or touch or taste? Do we fast on certain days of the week or from specific foods and drink? Or do we just eat and drink whatever we want? Do we discipline our eyes in what they look at? Or do we just let ourselves watch anything on YouTube or any show because we need to veg out? And do we discipline our hearing by refusing to listen to and enter into gossip? If you struggle with lust or with gluttony or drunkenness or gossip, but you have no spiritual exercise of self-denial regarding your senses, well then, what do you expect? Christ himself prepared for temptation by fasting. Do you think he needed more preparation than you do? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Why do you think Jesus went into the desert to prepare for his battle with Satan? Probably because, as you might have guessed from its name, the desert is, well, it's deserted. In the desert, Jesus could find solitude and and silence. Our lives, by contrast, are absolutely flooded with noise and distraction. How can you build up the moral reserves to do the right thing, regardless of what other people think, when you never stop listening to what other people think? Christ didn't check the news or his social media in the desert. He was alone with nature and with God. And when Satan came, he was prepared. So do you take time every day to be away from people, away from your devices, away from distraction, to be silent and to meditate and pray? If not, then you will always be the slave of the group and Satan will manipulate you at will.
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are Art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Now, one of the key ways of overcoming temptation is to avoid the near occasion of sin. But what exactly does that mean? One of the most violent and disturbing things Jesus said in the Gospels is about getting rid of whatever causes you to sin. He says that if your hand causes you to sin, you should cut it off. If your eye causes you to sin, you should pluck it out. What he's getting at is that the most important way to fight temptation is that we may have to cut certain things out of our life, certain things that aren't bad in themselves, but which for us are near occasions of sin. They lead us to sin. And we have to cut those situations out. Sinful behavior and addiction is largely environmental. If you put people in a certain environment, they're almost certain to give in to their temptation. But if you remove them from that environment, the likelihood of their giving in goes way down. This is what classic Catholic moral advice has always said. Avoid the near occasion of sin. The eye we need to pluck out, the hand we need to cut off, is the environment, the situation in which we are prone to succumb to our particular vices. That's really what we mean by willpower. Willpower doesn't mean grit your teeth and try harder. Willpower doesn't primarily mean just resist the temptation. By the time the temptation hits, you're usually too far gone to resist. Willpower is about the strategy in advance. It's identifying the situations which are the occasion to sin and getting rid of them. That's what willpower means. So, identify those things that are, or I should say, that immediately lead up to sin and get rid of them. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And, and do thou, O Prince, Prince of the Heavenly Host, host by the power of God, God cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, world seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's Teresa, during this meditation, I couldn't help thinking the whole time about being at the place of the first temptation. Mm-hmm. In the Holy Land. Isn't that that insanely long walk up to the cave? It's not that long. It was just a, a very steep stairs. Well, you're and walking. winding up the mountain. You are walking to the top of a mountain. Oh, you're right. I'm so sorry. That's just not long enough of a walk. And it's such an... I was actually just thinking about that the other day. I can't remember why I was thinking about it. Something about the thought of the system of caves... Oh, yeah. And how crowded it was. I think it was because a friend of mine was talking about his mom and sister had just, uh, I think last year, they were able to go to Israel. But the experience of all the different cultures in one small spot is especially interesting when you're at the, the site of the first temptation because you're crammed into all these tiny caves and you can't even... Oh, yeah. In, in a building from the outside, you can see or kind of guess how many rooms and spaces there are, when you're walking into a mountain, you just can never guess how many people can fit inside of it. And it felt like every turn we took, there were even more and more people coming out of, literally coming out of the woodwork, just coming out of the walls, pretty much. (laughs) Well, for those who haven't been with us to the (laughs) Mount of Temptation, uh, for the place of the first temptation of Jesus, uh, the... The first Christians knew where Jesus experienced the first temptation. It's right on the edge of Jericho, mm-hmm. on a mountain, which Jesus and the apostles would have, because whenever they were going up to Galilee or back down to Jerusalem, they always they usually passed by Jericho. Mm-hmm. And I can imagine uh, the, the apostles talking to Jesus about that, and Jesus saying, yeah, it was right here is where it took place. Mm-hmm. And then 
very early on, it was turned into a monastery. So mm -hmm. that mountain, the early monks carved right into the mountain and they made did, the mountain yeah. a monastery, mm -hmm. which we can go up into now. But you're right. In fact, there was one time, so the uh, Greek and Russian Orthodox Christmas and Epiphany. This is exactly what I was thinking about. Were you with me on that trip? I think so, because I was just thinking about I was pretty young and I was pretty exhausted from getting up there. And then you're in these dense little caves and it's really hot and humid <laughs> and it's it's just very draining. And then you just see these gorgeous like Russian models with their heels like all dolled up walking <laughs> through the caves like. <laughs> now we, we need to give some explanation here. So the uh, we. You and I were in the Holy Land at the Mount of Temptation. We went up to the place of the temptation mm -hmm. and it was flooded with thousands of Christian pilgrims from Russia. Mm -hmm. They were Russian Christians. Uh, and this is, this is something that people don't realize that Sister Lucia, that Our Lady told Sister Lucia, and Lucia related that if the Pope would consecrate Russia to her Immaculate Heart, she would bring about the conversion of the Russian peoples. And when I would go to the Holy Land, I would experience thousands upon thousands of Russian mm -hmm. Christians coming on pilgrimage. And we were literally in a sea of them yeah. at the Mount of Temptation. It's incredible sometimes seeing we don't experience it enough as Americans, but the floods of Christians from all over the way they would celebrate their holidays surrounding their faith was they took it so seriously. Like we said in our last meditation celebrating your baptismal day, but I feel like we need to party harder when it comes to feasts and Catholic celebrations. Yeah, we have to, uh, we need to feast when the church feasts and fast when the church fasts. Mm -hmm. But that was a great experience because it was on that same trip that when we went to uh, the Jordan River, it was on the Ethiopian... Uh... Well, well, see, the, 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 the uh, Ethiopian Orthodox mm -hmm. are on the same calendar as the Russian that Orthodox. That makes sense. But they were all going to celebrate their baptisms. Because we were there on the Epiphany. Mm -hmm. So it's just... We, you couldn't even see the river, but the people were just as beautiful because their celebration was so vibrant. Yeah, there were... There must have been 10,000... Ethiopian Christians, mm -hmm. and they were all dressed as one of the three wise men. You remember that? That makes sense. <laughs> you don't, you didn't realize that's what they were dressed like? It was just cool to see. <laughs> I just thought, we're going to party, we're going to dress up. That was a huge dance party at the mm -hmm. baptismal site of Jesus with, yeah. with all these, these uh, Ethiopian mm -hmm. Christians. Yeah. So how did our discussion about temptation turn into a discussion about partying? <laughs> because the Mount of Temptation is a, apparently the place to party for, for, the, for the right people. <laughs> well, God willing, I hope we can get back to the Holy Land one day soon because I miss seeing Christians from all over the world. So thanks for the conversation. Thank you. Let's be apostles of friendship. Good conversation and the Rosary. Share this with others. If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.